Here's how to diagnose whether or not you need new axles on your Subaru. I know that says Saab, but this was a Subaru Impreza 2005. If you're driving straight ahead, and this is a closed course, I'm a professional driver. This closed course just happens to look like the Home Depot parking lot. So if you're driving straight ahead and there's not much noise, I get a little vibration in the wheel, but I don't get much noise. But then if I turn it, You hear that rumble and feel that rumble? That's the U-joints trying not to break in half. So if when you're driving straight ahead, it's fairly quiet, but while you're in the process of turning, you hear that grindage, then you most likely need new axles. You can also look under the car to see if that's the case. And another test you can do to make sure it's not your power steering pump is put her in park and then like when I'm turning the wheels in park, there's no grindage sound. It's completely quiet because the U-joints aren't turning. Now let's go into the car and I'll show you the mess down there. So from the top side, you can look down at the CV boot and see if it's broken. You can see on this one right there where it looks extra black right there. It has broken open and, and uh, it's letting the grease out and it's letting dirt and crud in. So that's probably where it's gone bad. There's another joint by the wheel that you can also check. And that looks like this. So it's not leaking anything on either side on this car, but it's still possible that, that it's all worn out in there. And that's where the crunchy crunch crunch comes from. But the most li likely suspect is over there where the boot is actually broken. You can see there again, you can see a hole in it. So how hard is it to fix? There's a lot of people that are better mechanics than me that have done how-to videos and the, the amount of hours isn't very much. So it's not gonna be a ton of labor or and you may even be able to do it yourself. It's not, it doesn't look too difficult. So what does it cost? $81.49 for a regular one with a lifetime warranty from AutoZone, which is very reasonable. And then $169.99 for a heavy duty one. But they say if you're gonna go heavy duty, you gotta put one on both sides. So you have to replace left and right, even if one of them's still good. So that's reasonable. I've heard people say that for $450, you can get somebody to replace both of them, probably with the cheap axles. So it's a manageable repair. It's not going to totally break the bank and it'll get you back on the road for the rest of your life, according to this, if it's got a lifetime warranty.